Purple is a color that symbolizes mystery, magic, and spirituality. And today we're gonna make a magical, cozy cocoon shrug to wrap you in pure comfort. Capullo is a gorgeous shrug designed to remind you to create your own magic in life. And I hope every stitch feels like a wondrous, exciting adventure for you. And we hope that this shrug is a constant reminder to you to look for the good and to find the magic in each moment. This stunning pattern by Elizabeth Carr is designed for adventurous beginners. Cocoon shrugs are so awesome because it's very easy to choose your size and it's so easy to adjust. You simply start with a large square and then with a few flicks of your wrist, fold it, you add the sleeves, and then boom, just like magic, you have a shrug. It features a beautiful textured motif in the center, a glowing amethyst radiating out in repeating rounds. I love the detailing on the cuffs and edging. It resembles ribbing so it adds that beautiful little finishing touch to your project. And they can be tossed on in place of a cardigan or a jacket anytime, but they're perfect to carry you through the seasons. And what really makes this piece so striking is the gradient. It starts with a cooler purple in the center and radiates out to a warmer purple at the edges. And I think it really gives this piece a sense of aliveness and rhythm. The yarn that we used is our hand-dyed Mirage Sport yarn, which is a wool, camel, cashmere, silk blend. It's soft and dreamy and it will wrap you in pure love. If you would love to win a set of this beautiful yarn, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and just comment below letting me know if you have ever made a cocoon shrug before. So have a hop on over to expressionfiberarts.com to download the pattern and get the yarn and while you're there be sure to sign up for email updates for weekly free knit and crochet patterns. So let's go ahead and get started making our magical mysterious shrug. So to get started we're going to begin with a chain three, two, three and we're going to go ahead and join with a slip stitch into that very first chain to form a little loop. For round one, we're going to start with a chain two and go ahead and work three double crochets into the center of your little ring. One, two, and three, and then chain two, and we're going to repeat that three more times. So into the same ring, three double crochets, one, two, and three and a chain two. So just keep working those. And I like to go ahead and tuck my little tail in there so I don't have to weave that in later. Two and three and a chain two and let's do it one more time. So this is starting the center piece of our shrug. So that beautiful little textured medallion, if you will, in the center. Three and chain two and then just go ahead and slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. For round two we're going to start with a chain two and you're going to work two double crochets into the first chain two space which is actually sort of behind you. It feels a little weird but it looks correct in the end. So go ahead and work two double crochets into this chain two space. One and two and then work one double crochet into each stitch until you reach the next chain two space. So there's one and two and three. And then when you reach the chain two space, you're gonna go ahead and work two double crochets into the space, one and two, chain two, and then two more double crochets into that same space. So this is forming the corner of our little square. So we're gonna continue repeating that across. So work one double crochet into each stitch until you reach your next corner, which is the next space. One, two, three. And then when you reach this next chain two space, work your corner again, which is two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And it should be looking like a little square. So I like to stop once in a while, go back, make sure everything is looking good, and continue repeating around. One double crochet into each stitch until you reach your next chain space. And then again into the chain space, you're gonna work your two double crochets, your chain two, your two double crochets, Oop. And, whoop. and then when you reach your final edge, go ahead and finish off with working a double crochet into each of those final 
stitches, boop, boop. And then you'll work two double crochets into the chain two space. And then finish off with a chain two. And then just slip stitch to the very first double crochet. Here's what we have so far. Just make sure you've got a nice little square shape going. On round three, we're gonna create some beautiful texture. Let's go ahead and start with a chain two, and we're gonna work two double crochets into this first chain two space. So again, it's the one sort of behind you here. One and two. Now we're gonna work a back post double crochet into each stitch across to our next corner. So you can go ahead and kind of turn your little piece around if that helps, or you can just insert your hook around the next post, so around the post of the next double crochet, and just work your double crochet around that. So into the next one, wrap it around the post of the next double crochet. So you're just working double crochets, but instead of going into the top of the stitch like normal, you're just going around the back of the post of the stitch. And once you get the hang of it, if you've never worked these before, it's quite straightforward and it makes a beautiful little ridge, which you will see once we work this round. So one back post double crochet all the way across to your next corner. And one more. And then when you reach the chain space, you're just gonna work your two double crochets into the chain. Chain two and two more double crochets. One and two. And then you're gonna continue repeating that all the way around. So work your back post double crochets into each stitch across till you reach your corner. And then in your corners, work your two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So when you reach the end, just go ahead and finish working your back post double crochets. And into that final space there, just work your two double crochets. And then your chain two. And go ahead and finish off with a slip stitch into that first double crochet. So you can see after working round three, those back post double crochets create this beautiful little ridge here. And then for round four, you're just gonna repeat round three. So once you've worked round four, here's what it should be looking like over the top. You should have these two cute little ridges running all the way around. For round five, you're gonna start with a chain two and work three double crochets into this first chain two space. So there's one, two, and three. And then you're gonna skip the first three stitches. So skip, skip, skip. And into that fourth stitch, you're gonna work three double crochets. We're changing things up a little bit on this round. One, two, and three, all into that fourth stitch. So it should be a little triangle of double crochets. Then you're gonna skip two stitches, skip, skip, and then we're gonna continue repeating across three double crochets into the next stitch. One, two, and three, and then skip the next two three double crochets into the next one. One, two, and three, and just all the way till you reach your corner. Skip, skip. Three double crochets into the next stitch. And then once you reach your corner, go ahead and work three double crochets into your corner space. There's one, two and three and then chain two and then three double crochets also into that corner space one two and three so there's our first side and we're going to continue repeating that around And 
when you reach the end, just go ahead and skip those final two stitches like you have been and into the corner work your three double crochets. One, two, and three. Your chain two and go ahead and slip stitch into that first double crochet. And here's what it looks like after you've worked round five. You've got your beautiful texture here and then your little clusters of your three double crochets dancing around the edges. For round six, you're gonna start with a chain two and begin with three double crochets into that first chain two space. One, two, and three. And then for the sides, and you're gonna repeat this for each side on this round, you're gonna skip these first three stitches and go ahead and work three double crochets into the space between your three double crochet clusters from the previous round. So one, two, and three. So you're just working into that space. Then you're gonna jump over to the next space and work three double crochets into that space. One, two, and three. And just repeat that all the way across that side until you reach your corner. One, two, and three. Jump to the next space, work your three double crochets into that. One, two, and three. And I've got one more. So work your three double crochets into the next space. Two, and three. And then for each corner on this round, you're gonna work into that corner chain two space three double crochets, one, two, three, and then a chain two, and then three double crochets. One, two, and three. So you repeat those steps all the way around, working your three double crochets into the space between your clusters, and then work that same corner into each corner all the way around. So when you reach the end, go ahead and finish off with your final little three double crochet cluster. Jump over to your final remaining corner and just finish off with three double crochets into that chain two space. One, two, three, then a chain two and slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. And you can see when you continue to repeat those rounds as mentioned in the pattern for your size, you're gonna end up with this beautiful piece. Once you've worked all the rounds and you love the size, let's go ahead and seam up your rectangle. Once you've finished creating your big beautiful square, you're gonna go ahead and fold it in half. So on your folded edge here, this is where you're gonna attach your sleeves right here. So the remaining way down towards the open end, this is the part we're going to seam on both sides. So thread your tail or a long strand of yarn onto your darning needle and you can just do a simple whip stitch. This is a very easy way to join. Of course, you can do whichever method you prefer, but just going over and joining each stitch to the coordinating stitch on the other side and just work all the way up until you reach your sleeves. So we've seamed up both of our sides and now we're ready to add the cuffs for our sleeves. Now we're gonna add the finishing details for the sleeves and for the edges. For round one, so here's our seam and here's our little sleeve opening. We're gonna attach our yarn right here. So go ahead and just grab your yarn. And we're gonna begin with a chain two and a front post double crochet around this first stitch. So it's the same thing as the back post except instead of going around the back, you're just going around the front of that double crochet. And then just complete your double crochet. Now we're gonna swing over and work a back post double crochet onto this next stitch. So work one double crochet around the post of that next stitch. And then repeat that around. So one front post double crochet around this next stitch. One back post double crochet around the next one. And continue alternating and that's how you're gonna get that nice look of ribbing for your cuffs. So front post, back post, just work your way 
all the way around, front and back. And just pay attention on this first round that you are alternating them and then your subsequent rounds should be pretty straightforward. So front post and then a back post and then when you get all the way around you're just going to go ahead and join with a slip stitch to that very first stitch. And for round two, you're going to go ahead and start with a chain two. And you're going to work a front post double crochet around this first stitch, which is a front post double crochet. So just go ahead around the front of it and work your double crochet. And then work a back post double crochet around the back post double crochet from the previous row. So it's pretty straightforward. You can easily tell which one you should be working. So you're just working your front post double crochets around the front posts and then the back post double crochets around the back post double crochets. So it's really going to make that look of ribbing pop out and give a beautiful texture to your cuffs and to the lapel ribbing when you get to that part. It's a fun little technique that you can use on other projects too if you ever need a nice little finishing edge. So back post. And then front post around the front post. And then here's my final one. Back post around the back post double crochet. And when you work all the way around, you're just gonna go ahead and slip stitch to the top of your very first stitch. So you can see how you're already starting to get those little ridges forming. And for rounds three through six, you're just gonna repeat round two. And you can see how it really creates that look of ribbing when you repeat those rounds. And to complete the lapel ribbing, you're just gonna follow the same steps that you did for the sleeve cut. And then you're good to block your shrug and be cozy all season long. I hope you enjoy stitching up this beautiful, magical shrug. Remember to be kind to yourself today. Take care now and I will see you next week with another gorgeous new design. Bye.